90 homeless people are off the streets tonight and inside their own hotel room. And thanks to the generosity of the local foundation and advocates for the homeless. Now they say that there was not enough room at local shelters for all the people over the weekend, so they'll get to stay at this hotel all week long. As KXY4's Ariana Lake found out, some shelters did have some room. Ariana? Yeah, the city of Spokane shows there was space for people at most shelters in town over the weekend, but they usually don't stay open during the day. So for some of the most vulnerable people out on the streets, like pregnant women, having a hotel room for a few days is a dream come true. 86 people are off Spokane streets and inside this motel now, waiting for the frigid weather to pass. It's about getting them through this winter, and we have another week of, of this weather. Jason Green and Julie Garcia are part of a volunteer-run group called Jules Helping Hands. On Saturday, they noticed not every homeless person was off the streets, despite the bad weather. So we tried to find the most vulnerable people that were out on the streets or the people that couldn't get to the warming centers. They brought them here, where the Smith Barbieri Progressive Fund paid for 30 rooms. The city of Spokane says they did have space at most shelters over the weekend. You can see the availability between Friday and Sunday night on your screen. It is important to note, though, more people usually arrive after these numbers are reported, according to a city spokesperson. But not all these shelters stay open during the day, something Michael Clark thinks needs to change. I think Spokane needs to do a little bit better job with our work centers to have them open during the day because it is that cold outside. Bobby Alf and Daniel Jennings say they're grateful for any help, but this is above and beyond, especially for Alf, who's pregnant. I really appreciate this, and I know my son does too. It means a lot to me to be able to get off the streets and get a shower and have a, a queen-sized bed that I can sprawl out on. <laughs> yeah. You know, after 15 and a half years of homelessness, this is... This is a gift from God. The Charitable Foundation paid for the rooms through this weekend, according to Garcia. We have a link on our website if you'd like to get involved in helping those people or join Jules Helping Hands. The group feeds more than 200 homeless people every night at shelters all across the city. Reporting live in studio, I'm Ariana Lake, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Ariana.